Hello, saya Jonathan dan bagi siapa pun yang menonton dari Indonesia atau berbicara bahasa tersebut maaf jika ada nama yang mungkin saya salah yukapkan dalam ulasan ini. From Timur Jahanto, a big name in action and international film circles, on for delving into the action genre of films like Night Come For Us and Big Four, and its horror films like the main The Devil Take You series, or his segments in the VHS movies. <laughs> and next year he's going to be directing the next Nobody film with Bob Oldenkirk, comes The Shadow Strays, an action film about a group of clandestine assassins called The Shadows. When a member of the sit in called named 13, messes up during a mission, she is put on the bench, but gets involved in a conspiracy involved in local Jakarta criminals, and things spiral out from there. I wasn't familiar with Chahantel's action films, I've seen most of his horror movies, and they're, and they're good, and the only action film I've seen of his is his comedy The Big Four, which is also good, and I can happily report this film is great. Right from the get-go, this film showcases the type of action you can see, visceral, intense, and bloody. I can't show you any clip from the film, also because I could get content ID, but also this film is very, very violent. Jahantel's skill as a horror movie director works well here in the actions. It is gory, but not over the top, and that, that doesn't create a tonal imbalance with the film, and there's emotion felt with every punch and kick in each character deals out. It's really good. On the front side of things, Aurora Ribeiro gives a damn good performance here. She gives an intense and raw element in the action moments, but combines it with an element of of innocence, more in the lost sense, but barely holding on to it. Opposite her is Hanam Malasan, as we appear, who isn't in the film as much, and if there is anything to criticise in this film, it's that there isn't a lot of the Shadow Strays in the film, and they only make sporadic appearances throughout the film, but those moments are important as it ties into the film's themes, and is a good bit of characterization for Malasan's character. The film also has a lot of themes, and they have also shown up in Chahanatel's other works, stuff like Found Family and Being on the Margins, that characterises previous work shows up here and is played to good effect here. The film is a dark story, but how it shows how connecting with people can come together and help each other stops it from going totally bleak, and given the film moments of calm before things get brutal. The Shadow Strays is a solid action film, one of the best of the year, with many different set pieces and performances throughout. The film is currently streaming on Netflix, you should do yourself a service and check it out.